guys, so Miss Sheldon is going to first show you step one, multiplying the fraction. So she's going to start by writing the calculation out, which is 3 eighths times 4 sixths. Now, the first thing she needs to do is to multiply the numerators. So 3 times 4, which is 12, and then she's going to multiply the denominators, 8 times 6, which is 48. Okay, well done Miss Sheldon, and now on to step 2, simplify. Okay, there are two ways that we've practiced simplifying before, and we're going to just remind you of both of them. Okay, so first we have method one, which is best used when the numbers are smaller or odd. Okay, the first thing Miss Sheldon is going to do is to write down our fraction, which is 12 48ths. Now, what we need to find is a factor of both of these numbers that is the same. So she's going to take her 12 and write down all the factors of 12. We're looking for a common factor and the highest common factor. So Michelle is writing down all the factors of 12. Okay, and now she's gonna write down all the factors of 48. What we're looking for is a number that's gonna appear in both of these factor lists. Okay, so Miss Sheldon has found 12 is in both of these factors lists. Now we could have 6 and 8 as factors of 48, but they're not as high as 12, and we want our highest common factor. So now we're going to take our numerator and our denominator and divide them both by our highest common factor, which is 12. So 12 divided by 12 is 1, and 48 divided by 12 is 4, and that is our fraction in its simplest form. Now, if you find that there are no common factors for both your numerator and your denominator, then your fraction cannot be simplified. Okay, and now for method two, which is best used when you're using larger numbers, but can only be used when the numerator and denominator are both even. For example, if you had a fraction large like this, it would be very difficult to write down all the factors of each of these numbers because they're very high. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our original fraction of 12 48ths and we're going to simplify it using method 2. Now this is possible because both the numerator and the denominator are even. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them both and we're going to divide them by 2 or half them. Now we can keep doing that until either the numerator or the denominator becomes odd. So Ms. Sheldon is going to do 12 divided by 2 and 48 divided by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 48 divided by 2 is 24. Now as you can see, they are both still even numbers, so we can do it again. We're going to divide both by 2, or half them. So 6 divided by 2, and 24 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now you might have noticed that we've now got an odd number, that means we can't continue using this method, we've got 3 twelfths, but we need to check if that's in its simplest form. Now to do that, we're going to go back to like we did in method one, we're going to write down the factors of each of these numbers. Now, Ms. Sheldon knows the only factors of 3 are 1 and 3, so she's just going to write down the factors of 12. And she has found that 3 is a factor of 12, which means we can divide both our numerator and denominator by the same number, which is our common factor. So 12 divided by 3, and 3 divided by 3. Which should give us the same answer to method 1, which is 1 
out of four. Now, if you have a fraction, it's got a numerator of one, it is in its simplest form. It cannot be simplified. So we've got one quarter and we have successfully simplified our fraction. And Michelle is just gonna zoom over just to show you that again. Okay, year six, so when you're doing your own work, if you just go through this video, stop, pause whenever you need to, follow the steps along with us, and you should be able to complete your own multiplication of fractions and simplifying of fractions. Good luck!